Hi, I'd like to talk to you about trading comparative advantage. A couple of concepts that we're going to be talking about here is opportunity cost. Opportunity cost, remember, is the value of the next best alternative. That is, what's the next best thing that I give up? We're also going to be talking about how specialization in trade can make both countries or individuals better off. Specifically, specialize in what you have the lowest opportunity cost. And we're not going to discuss it, but as you can increase your productivity, your production possibilities curve expands, you're more productive. So let's start out with an example of opportunity cost. So let's assume we have Mark, and he can do two things per hour. He's working at a call center, and he can either answer phone calls, specifically 200 phone calls per hour, or he can respond to 400 emails per hour. If he does the phone calls, he can't do the emails. So what would be the opportunity cost of doing 400 phone calls? Well, if it's 200 phone calls per hour, 400 phone calls is going to take two hours. And his opportunity cost would be how many emails can he answer in two hours? Well, 400 per hour, two hours, must be 800 emails. So let's write that down here. So right here, so our answer is 800 phone calls. Let's do our next one. So here we have a table that shows the United States and Mexico and the number of hours to make a high quality car or the number of hours to make a low quality car. You're more productive if you use fewer hours to make the car. So notice, the United States takes fewer hours to produce each car. Therefore, the United States is more productive and has an absolute advantage in producing high-quality cars and has an absolute advantage in producing low-quality cars. Well, notice the United States looks like, what, twice as productive in producing high-quality cars? Not quite twice as productive in producing low-quality cars. Let's look at the opportunity cost. In Mexico, it takes 60 hours to produce a high quality car, half as much time to produce a low quality car. So in Mexico, the opportunity cost is for every one high quality car, you're giving up two low quality cars. So let's write it like this. And let me get my ink right here. So for Mexico, we take the 60 hours to make the high quality car divided by the 30 over there, hours to make the low quality car, which makes you're giving up two low quality cars for each high quality car. So the opportunity cost is two. In the United States, it's 30 divided by 20 is equal to 1.5. It takes about, for every high quality car, you give up about one and a half low quality cars. Well, that means the United States has a comparative advantage 1.5 is less than 2 in producing high quality cars. And if we take the inverse of those, we'll find that Mexico has a comparative advantage in producing low quality cars. So the United States specializes up here with high quality cars, Mexico with low quality cars, and they trade with each other. And because of this trade, we have it so that they, the opportunity cost is we give up fewer of the other good. Both of both countries are better off.